Also in a recent interview, you said that it's fun to work with new techniques like prompting and fine tuning models on a high level. Tell us about how you leverage these kinds of things. I, I think it's safe to say that our listeners are, I, if you've got to be, if you're listening to this show, please tell me that you're familiar with prompting because if you're not already playing around with prompting and seeing what that can do for you, I don't know, you're really missing out. Please do that today. Please mess around with these LLMs and see how they can be improving your life at writing code, at writing prose, at coming up with ideas, everything, anything imaginable. Um, so hopefully prompting is something that's well covered, but something that I suspect uh, not all of our listeners is are super familiar with is fine tuning models. So um, what do you find, I guess you can talk about the prompting thing if you feel like it, but even more interesting for me, I think, and probably our audience, is this idea of fine tuning models and what you find exciting or promising about um, these methods. Sure, we can walk through one by one. Um, yeah, the, the prompting, prompt engineering is the practice of designing effective inputs or prompts to get the desired results that you're looking for from large language models. And so this might be a preamble that you share with the model, a style guide, or some context that you give it. And so I think it's also a, just a really powerful tool um, to get you know, the best result from the model. So it might be about like giving it very clear instructions and being specific about what you want or giving a few examples that help the model understand the type of output that you're looking for, uh, maybe the formatting that you'd like for the results. Um, again, context, whether it might be code or kind of the values that you want to come through with what you're writing or a style guide. Um, so anyway, that's those are some, some thoughts on the, the prompting. Um, supervised fine tuning is the process of taking that pre-trained large language model and then adapting it further to a specific task by training it further on a labeled data set. And so that data set should be representative of the scenario that you're trying to optimize for. So there might be an amazing, um, you know, pre-trained model that you're using, but then you have an application or use case that you're developing for a specific um class of users. And so you want to optimize more for their type of use cases, um, preferences. And so it's kind of that next stage of then, um, you know, a adopting more to that, um, ensuring like the best quality for that. It could also be like a niche kind of scenario. Um, and then maybe another just um, technique in this, in this group would be the reinforcement learning, human feedback. And so um, reinforcement learning is machine learning approach where um, you learn by the model learns by interacting with the environment and then getting either rewards or punishment kind of like as um, if you were to kind of give a, a dog a treat after they do a good job kind of that approach and so the reinforcement learning human feedback is the approach where then you use human feedback to get the positive or negative feedback signals that the model perceives from the user so those can be you know various signals, um, a thumbs up, thumbs down, they're exporting the result, they're saying on the next um, response that they you know, do or don't like what they heard, and then kind of using that feedback to keep improving once as the model learns and can predict what kind of response a user is going to like. 